Hello YouTubers, Alan Lindsley here, and today's video will be on making your life great again. If you do like the video, please like and subscribe. I have a lot more videos on my channel, so check them out, and here we go. What I mean by making your life great again is, you know, not to say that you've got a bad life or that, you know, you should change, because if it's what you want, go ahead and go with it. What I mean by that is, you know, make it happen for yourself. You know, if, if you have a goal, you know, set short-term goals, set long-term goals, and work towards it diligently each and every day so you accomplish your goals, you accomplish your dreams, you achieve what you want in life. And that's in anything. If you have a job that, that you want to rise to the top of the co company, you know, go for it. You know, do what, do what you need to do. But suggest... You know, talking to people, you know, the best thing, get the mentors, get people that have done it before. If you plan your world travel vacation to go out and just explore and meet new people, see the planet, you know, get with some people that have traveled before. Don't just, you know, up and, you know, you're gone and then now, oh, now you get in country, you don't know what to do, you've lost your passport, you have all these issues, you don't know the currency exchange. And you just run into these problems. So the biggest thing in making it happen for yourself, accomplishing your goals and your dreams, is consistent work. And believe me, work, working on your goals, spending the time. There's a difference if you think about doing something and then you go and you, you party the weekend. Vice, you know, okay, you plan to do something, open up a business, world travel self-improvement, you know, going out, meeting new people, spending time with family, you know, you have to set time aside for that. You know, if you just think about doing something great and that all it, that is all it is is a thought, well, it's either not going to happen or it's going to happen poorly or not be as great as it could have been. And a good example is if you plan on, oh, I want to open up a business, I want to be a successful business person and achieve financial independence well then you know partying over the weekends friday saturday and then recovering on sunday and then coming in feeling like crap on monday you know that might happen it might happen for you but it's going to take a lot longer than vice you know you put a hundred percent effort into it you know instead of going out and partying on the weekends you went out and you worked friday late friday you got up early saturday went hit it again, you know, all day, you know, put a, a tremendous amount of time on, into it when you could have just chose to do something else. And then Sunday, the same thing, go to church. And then after church, you know, you may, maybe do so, some little things to make it happen. And then Monday morning, you know, you, you know, made the right decisions as in you got the work taken care of. You've ate responsibly and correctly and responsibly instead of just going to a fast food restaurant where you know okay you're, you're paying you know five eight bucks for like a meal that's really not that good for you and not not worth it and then you've decided to drink all weekend you know it's okay to have the occasional glass of wine or a beer every now and then but there's a difference between one or two beers and you know a whole 24 pack of Budweiser you know that that makes a difference and then when you Monday morning does roll around then because you've taken care of yourself and because you've given yourself more time into something that you want to accomplish you know you're fresh for the uh, or it, you're still probably going to be tired because you put more work effort and energy into it so give yourself enough sleep time and then you're going to be a lot better to hit it throughout that week than if you just partied, you know, you stayed up, you know, 48 hours straight, drinking, partying with friends, and then now you want to, Monday morning, you want to, you know, get up and accomplish your goals. Well, I'm telling you, you're, you're going to get up. You're probably not even going to get up. And then you're going to wake up like 3 o'clock Monday afternoon, and you're going to be like, oh, why is my, my life so terrible? Why am I broke? Well, you partied over the weekend, you didn't really do any work, and you know, here comes, you know, work time and, you know, you missed work because you were so hungover, you know, and then you got fired, you know. So 
that, that, that's a difference. So just, I mean, think through some of this stuff. Just instead of just doing something, think about the consequences. You know, there's a big difference between, you know, okay, you worked hard over the weekend and then you're eating correctly. You, you do a little exercise here and there, 20, 30 minutes. You, you do extra reading and that saves you time in itself because now you know instead of discovering or just doing something the long way or the hard way. And it, it just saves you, you know, vice, you know, okay, you, you got done with a job that you hate, it's Friday, and now to vent, you know, to, to let all the stress out, you're going to go out partying and drinking, which you, all the money you just worked for is going towards alcohol, you know, for a couple of days, that's like a short term fix, you know, I, I'm talking, you know, you really want to do a long term solution. Long term is always better than short term. You know, you, you, you have all these great, wonderful things. You can go get ice cream. You can order pizza. You can go to the liquor store, get all the alcohol you want, you know, but it's all going to take the money that you worked hard for. So, you know, now you don't have any savings. So, you know, in achieving the things you want to achieve, just sit back and, and you, before you do it, just think about it. You know, what's this going to be? Okay, go go through your day. You know, notice if you go through your day and you don't just, you just do things. You don't keep track of anything, you know, and, and add that up. Just think about every, you know, gas station you've stopped at, every fast food place you've stopped at, you know, and then at the end of the day, total that up. Well, then think if you planned it. Planning is great. You know, if you plan a couple meals where you're going to eat a healthy restaurant, you know, the, the cost instead of just showing up and, oh, you're, you know, t 10, 20, 30 bucks. Turns out the restaurant was 130 because, yeah, they brought you some fancy food. It tastes good, but it was small portions and really kind of a ripoff. You know, it, it, well, let me let me tell you, they got you because they're working hard and they know what they're doing. And they they got your money and you do not have. It. So. You know, again, I'll leave you with that. I won't go too long into the video, but it's just be cognizant about what you do. Plan what you what you want to accomplish. And when you do that, you, you'll be amazed. Instead of just blatantly oh, waking up and just because you got done partying, you know, Friday and Saturday and you just wake up and you have no plan and you're just kind of stumbling through the day. That's not the way to go. Get up early because, you know, you went to bed early and that gives you the time and think about what it is you're going to do for that day and then that leads into what you're going to do for the week and what you're going to do for the month and what you're going to do for the year and as you get better at these things then you can really do some devastation as in bringing great quality into your life as you have a solid plan you've researched you've made connections you've made friends you you're around people that love and care about you and support you so I'll leave you with that. Have a good day.